Hi, in today's video, we'll be reviewing the basic setup needed to integrate your QuickBooks desktop system to your Passport inventory database so we can understand how the data flows between the two systems. It's important to first know that QuickBooks will always act as the primary database, meaning that any new SKUs, customers and jobs, vendors, as well as purchase and sales orders will always be created in QuickBooks first and not Passport. I'll begin by navigating up to the Lists menu and going into my item list. And this way we can see a list of all the items I'm starting with in QuickBooks. Next, I'll go ahead and navigate up to the vendor file so we can go into the vendor center and see the vendors that we also have in QuickBooks. And finally, into the customer center so that we can see the customers that we're also starting with here in QuickBooks. Now, let's go ahead and log into Passport and see how to integrate the two applications. I'll begin here in Passport by navigating up to the admin menu and going into the system configuration. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the QuickBooks settings tab. Now there are several options here which we're gonna focus on in another video. For this video, we're gonna stick with the most basic setup where we have QuickBooks and Passport installed on the same system. The first thing we'll need to do is tell Passport where the QuickBooks company file is. To do this, we can simply scroll to the right and click browse and then choose the company file from there. Once the file is selected, you can test the connection by clicking the test connection button on the right. If the test connection is successful, simply click yes to save those connection settings. Now let's see how to sync our files. To do this, we can click on admin and go into the integration settings. Here we can see a breakdown of the integration and the files that sync between the two systems. On the left side, all of my QuickBooks information is contained, and on the right side, all of the passport details can be seen. The arrows on screen point in the direction that the data will travel. For stock items, including parts, non-inventory parts, and assemblies, as well as any of the vendor information and any customer information, including any purchase orders and sales orders, those will all populate from QuickBooks. The arrows that point to the left allow Passport to send data back to QuickBooks, informing QuickBooks that items have been received or issued, which will automatically create bills and invoices for vendors and customers. To change any of these settings, you can click on the Edit button on the top right to change which files are syncing, including whether or not you wish bills or invoices to be created when items are issued or received. To confirm any changes, simply click Save and click OK to the message. Now we're ready to sync. I'll initiate a manual sync by clicking on the sync button on the top right of the QuickBooks integration screen. Once the warning comes up saying the process cannot be undone, simply click yes. And on the top left, you'll quickly see the sync process happen. And now that the sync is completed, let's navigate back to the files in Passport to see what came over. We'll start by clicking on the file folder on the top left, and first going into the vendor file. Here we can see the vendors which have come over from QuickBooks. Next, let's go back up and click on the customer file so we can see the customers which have synced over. And finally, if we click on files and go into the stock item file, we can see all of the stock items which have come directly from QuickBooks. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.